This has been, uh, you and I haven't talked recently, um, so let me just start by saying um, I've thought of Cineplex often throughout this because uh, this has been an extraordinarily hard period. Um, and I guess I'm going to start, with, there's lots of different threads to pull in here. I want to start with where Paul left off there, which is you have uh, you have renegotiated, extended to second quarter next year um, to meet some covenants. How do you feel about tracking to that? Do you feel good about where you'll be in second quarter, where your creditors are concerned? I feel that the industry is going to come back and, uh, you know, when we look at the Southeast Asian countries hitting records, uh, including Japan and, uh, you know, Australia, China and Taiwan all doing extremely well too, we feel pretty confident that once the uh, COVID is behind us, uh, our guests will come back. And just as an example, this past week with uh, Remembrance Day with holidays in BC and Alberta and Nova Scotia, we saw a real increase in visitation. I mean, the numbers are small because of the, uh, you know, requirements to uh, properly uh, physically distance, but uh, mm -hmm. our guests want to have an experience and they want to uh, come back to the theaters. And that's what we're excited about. So then let's talk about how you're managing right now, because you do have, as you say, some markets where you can open are very strong, which I guess gives you hope, Ellis, that on the other side of this, there's a snapback. Uh, you know, you can't make up lost ground, but that at least your, your attendance does come back strongly. So what are you hoping for most? Uh, is it a vaccine that you need? What do you need uh, in general to get your business back to, to normal? I feel if we've got the vaccine, which it looks like is, uh, you know, proposed for the first or second quarter of uh, 2021. Plus, I'm sure there will be new tests that will be created that, uh, you know, you could basically know if somebody has any symptoms and if we could do that uh, before they enter the theater, because we have the highest levels of safety from the perspective of the protocols and physical distancing. So you should feel, and when we did surveys, 96% of our guests higher today than it was pre-COVID said how safe they felt with what we've done from a health and wellness issue. One of the big blows, of course, to you, and I can imagine to many people internally um, at Cineplex, was the, uh, the collapse of the Cineworld deal. Can you give me an update on where things stand with that and what you hope will happen? At the moment, we are uh, in the process of uh, litigating, but the hearing is not till uh, next year. And, uh, you know, we will be moving forward uh, with, the, with the lawsuit and uh, we'll have to work to see where we end up because we feel we met all of the obligations of the transaction and uh, we'll continue to uh, move forward on that basis. And again, we'll be watching how, uh, you know, Cineworld performs over the next period of time. You know, I, I, Cineplex had a strong reaction when we saw the restrictions reimposed not too long ago uh, that, you know, as to your point, you'd taken a lot of effort to uh, create a safe environment. There was no evidence that you weren't successful in that. What, what feedback do you get from government? Uh, because going and sitting in a movie with your mask on is obviously very different than going to a gym and panting next to somebody else who's working out. Uh, how do you get the measures that are taken here to be a little bit more targeted? We had, uh, you know, a discussion a, a number of months ago when the, uh, you know, regulations were so that we were only allowed 50 people in a building, which is uneconomical for us because, as you know, with theaters with uh, 10 or 15 screens, that would mean three or four people in an auditorium, which is just not worthwhile and much more difficult for the staff, for our guests, for ourselves from a financial perspective. But uh, again, we uh, worked with the government and then moved it from uh, 50 for the building to 50 per auditorium. But again, we have to be conscious of all of the issues that are happening out there and take guidance from our health and uh, government officials as we move forward. And so as you move forward here, um, how will you manage? I mean, quite literally, uh, with lockdowns in some of your biggest cities in Canada, uh, what is the state of your business and what other steps can you take to make sure that you can bridge over this period? 
Our main focus is really about uh, a cash preservation and making sure that we can make it, uh, you know, for a period of time. We did a convert issue in the third quarter, which raised over $300 million. We got, uh, you know, covenant relief for the next two quarters from our banking syndicate. And uh, we continue to focus on all of our costs, including our fixed costs, which are the uh, rent and also the, the labor costs. Now, the government has, with the Q's program, helped us on the labor side, but we are still, uh, from the perspective of rent, negotiating with our individual partner rent landlords moving forward and looking for assistance also from the government with their newer programs. How much have you done through all of this, Ellis, to beef up your own digital and streaming offerings? Uh, you face intense competition, and of course, the whole stay-at-home uh, period has accelerated and exacerbated that. Disney is now, uh, of course, a fierce competitor. Netflix doing full-length films in a way that it, it you know, has never done before. Uh, how do you compete with all of that? What's your strategy? So we are not uh, in the streaming business. We basically have the Cineplex store where you can basically go and rent a movie to watch or you can buy the movie to own. And that has done extremely well because, uh, you know, as our guests are staying within the confines of their homes, they can now enjoy the movie in uh, at home but they can also order their popcorn drinks and other goodies from the theater which we deliver via uber eats or skip the dishes and we've seen a huge surge in uh, you know our guests wanting to partake in that and that's worked out really really well for us and we've got over a couple of million uh, you know unique uh, uh, participants in the cineplex store and you can watch up to the equivalent of uh, 8,500 to 9,000 movies. Ellis Jacob, it is great to have you with us. We do appreciate your time today, always. Ellis Jacob is the CEO of Cineplex.